So we've got this massive locust swarm that is moving through the Eastern Cape and I found one of the kind of like sub swarms and you can see all of them here and so took a day out the office and come track down one of the swarms and to make botanical observations see what they're eating you know see see what damage they're doing um, to the felt I mean it will all be temporary the swarms will move on and it's just kind of part of part of the what plants have to deal with uh, at any given time point is is to deal with herbivory However, I, um, I just brought my cell phone out with me and I thought, okay, there'd be so many of them, I'd be able to really get up close to them to see, uh, to see what, what their behavior is. And you know, as a kid, I remember uh, catching crickets and, and locusts for, for fishing. So you'd kind of angle yourself behind it and then uh, jump on it with your hat or uh, you could actually get really, really close and just put your hand over it but I'm absolutely astounded at how difficult it is to get close to these guys and then I realized that that's the value of so many eyes I think it's we think that uh, birds will have a really easy time of catching these but uh, I don't I don't necessarily think so I think that's uh, they'll probably just catch the the weak ones um, or those that have got like wing damage or something but because these guys are really difficult to get up close to there are just so many eyes. So one of them sees you, takes a leap, and then they all they all leap up. Oh, there we go. They all kind of jump up together uh, and, and, and fly away. So it's, it's really difficult to get close to them. I found that, yeah, here we go. We want to get, are oh, you guys eating? Let's get a nice close look. And they just, they're just forever on the alert. So to make behavioral observations, I should have brought my darn binoculars. I didn't think I'd need, I, I kind of had this, this image of just kind of walking up to plants and watching locusts eat them. And uh, yeah, that's not how it's worked out. Uh, they are just too, too darn uh, vigilant. It's really super difficult to make any plant observations. Obviously I can come after, so I can come up to this bush and look for any leaves that have got um, that have got damage on them and surprisingly few have uh, I mean certainly not after having all of these locusts roosting there one would expect to have plenty of uh, kind of tons of damage uh, but no there doesn't seem to be I mean if we come and look at this puppy here there we go there and uh, yeah so they're sitting on the leaves there but none of these, all these leaves are entire. They haven't been eaten. So obviously, uh, you know, locusts are meant to, as far as I understand it, they're meant to focus on grasses predominantly. Um, no grasses here, so one wonders what, what it is they're eating. Yeah, I wanted to get some nice like videos of them kind of walking along the ground, like an up close video with my camera, but my cell phone camera but just cannot get close enough to them and then I mean just look at look at you can really kind of set the swarm off I mean yeah I'm just walking at a normal pace and they just stay ahead of me and they get going and thus far I haven't actually seen them eating all that much I think that's because uh, there's not much grass here this is degraded thicket Obviously, so this should be a uh, wall-to-wall thicket. I shouldn't be able to walk. Uh, I should be able to walk through here, um, but uh, it's all been degraded by overbrowsing. And uh, yeah, so I'm just—it's kind of the weight of the the weight of the um, locust might be more more damaging than what they're doing. At least to the trees. I'm sure to the grasses they could be doing quite a lot. I'm quite fascinated that they don't seem to be eating. This is a lot of metabolism going on here. A lot of metabolism going on. Anyway, so that's my observation. If you ever want to make locust observations about what they're doing, you need to be able to view them from afar because they really, they start to become, uh, even when they don't move, they start making a noise 
this kind of like clicking noise when when you get close to them and they kind of stop what they're doing and and eye you out and get ready to to leap so yeah um, I'm really kicking myself because I've got a beautiful super zoom camera which I could have brought out with me but I just didn't really think I thought I'd be able to go and like stick my camera in their faces and they wouldn't mind yeah that's a botanist for you and uh, also not having experienced a swarm like this before ever this is this is definitely something new for me so the last major swarms like this were apparently the 1980s so 30 to 40 years ago was the last time that the these locusts swarmed like this and this has been going all through the eastern cape and northern cape probably billions of individuals I can hear them. I don't know if you, I'm going to get the microphone and see if you can get the, hear them clicking. Yeah, so this is probably the closest I've got. But if you remember, that front of that bush was completely covered just now, and they're all gone. And if I go and get a close up over there, and then I come back, yep, yeah, they've all leapt off. Uh, and they've obviously stopped doing whatever it was they were doing before I rocked up because they're on high alert, high alert. Anyway, fascinating. Fascinating. It's just quite something to walk through. It almost sounds like it's raining. Just sheer numbers. <laughs> 